another twin turbo Tuesday update then. Yes. Um, got a little bit done. Uh, fitted an extra radiator to the KA. It was vital to the twin turbo Range Rover. Mm -hmm. Fitted a steering bar to my P38 because I knocked a ball joint out when off-roading. It's the right car at least. Huh? So it's the right it's car the at right least. It's the right shape. Yeah, and, and is the, the, what the turbos will end up on. Um, I've had man flu. Yeah, and don't we know it? Uh, well, I don't tell you things like that. Um, oh, and I went on a Land Rover charity run for firefighters charity. Mm. So, have done some other bits. We'll open the bonnet and show you. One thing you have done Go on. is made a pipe. Yes. Um, so, I can't actually remember where I was at with the manifold. I think it was all tacked together, wasn't it? Uh, we'll say yes, because yeah, I okay. don't remember either. We'll go with that. So, uh, the manifold was tacked together, but there was no up pipe. But the turbo is now off its bracket and supported by the manifold. Um, did quite well with the full welding um, without warping it until I put the up pipe on and you'll note it's only bolted on by the right hand flange at the moment because the left hand flange is actually a couple of mil higher than it was before because it's warped up so I um, just need to split the uh, manifold in the centre and sort that. I've tried re-warping it with some heat, uh, this was actually to do with some other flex which I managed to sort out. So uh, yeah I was actually really pleased, managed to, to not get any warpage until the very end but there we go it's what happens um, so that manifold is now done um, other than just correcting that and this turbo is now supported by the manifold so really pleased with that um, you'll note as well I've actually removed the wiring loom and the ECU from this box um, so I'm just going to start rejigging that as well uh, so let's go underneath and look at the crossover pipe as you can see then crossover pipes coming along nicely um, it is actually hard up against a sump at the moment. Um, again, warpage when uh, welding all the pipe work. Uh, I've yet to weld this pipe uh, here, this joint, so at the moment I just need to see if this is uh, an angle issue on uh, left to right or front to back, so that can then be corrected uh, when I do this joint here. But really pleased with how that's coming along. Uh, it was really nice of Land Rover, they put an M8 threaded hole in the front of the sump here. Um, so I'm going to use that and use a rubber hanger just to support the exhaust here uh, once I've got a space for a heat shield between the sump and the pipe although I might wrap this section of pipe uh, and then obviously we're going to come this way and point towards I don't know if you can see up there Steve the turbo yes so uh, I'll come through here and there'll be space for a flexi um, before it then goes onto a bracket which is going to be mounted off of the engine mount so it's all part of the one section that's moving the engine um, and that will support the up pipe uh, just above the flexi um, before it reaches the turbo so that's coming along nicely as well obviously as I've said before there will be heat shields on this uh, and I have also noted that the um, starter motor if I ever need to change it will now be an exhaust off job uh, so it's turning into a modern Range Rover where you have to like remove the body to get to anything um, but again for that reason I'm going to put a join in here, a 3 bolt flange in um, so that it's not a case of removing this entire pipe and it will just be this uh, driver side section of it uh, should the starter motor ever need changing just as a bit forward thinking um, let's go back up top again and talk intake pipe work Right, so I've started working on the charge pipe work. Um, so, got this bend on here, obviously, and uh, again, let's just shorten this side of things so we can put the air flow meter here. Um, we'll need to install a heat, um, I think, a heat jacket for the actual turbo, um, maybe a heat shield, um, because obviously the intake sat right above the turbo isn't ideal. But uh, whereas originally I thought there's loads of space here. It's obviously getting so there isn't because uh, I'm going to charge cooler rather than intercooler because there's not room for intercooler pipe work as we've discussed before. Um, not the way I want to do things anyway. Um, so I've started, uh, got a 180 degree bend for here which I've started to cut up and fabricate to kind of fit in here. Um, which I'll continue with this evening. And I've just ordered the pipe work that I think will will maybe do the job here as well. Uh, so this turbo will come around 180 degrees and this turbo will, pipe will come above it 
wide piece together into the inlet, uh, the hot side of the charge cooler. Um, and just ordered a radiator as well for the charge cooling system, which should fit in here ish, maybe. Only if you use it as a front grill. And that also comes with an issue because I had to cut a hole in my front grill for my winch. So the two might be a bit close. But we'll worry about that if it comes to it, you know. I mean, who needs a. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure It'll be something. fine. It'll be fine. Just apply more hammer. Yeah, and we can't remove the um, aircon fans to gain more room because your bonnet pin comes down in the middle and actually protrudes as far as the uh, aircon fans are. I don't really want to move the bonnet catch. Um, so, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I can always cut the radiator down that I've ordered. So yeah, yeah, it's only metal. We can, we can work with that. So, um, that pretty much concludes uh, this Twin Turbo Tuesday update. Those keen-eyed amongst you will notice that these videos have been coming out bi-weekly. So it's actually been bi-weekly Twin Turbo Tuesday. <coughs> um, which I'm going to try and keep doing. However, we're now getting into the last section of it. The fiddly pipe work here. Um, obviously you've got induction pipe work to sort out as well to each turbo. Which I've got a plan for, which we'll discuss in the next video, hopefully. Um, going to continue to try and do these every other week. However, as you were saying the other day, Steve. Yeah, it's the last 10% of things take 90% of the time. Yes, so um, with that in mind, if it's uh, three weeks before the next video goes up, um, bear with me. I'm also off-roading next weekend in the KA, so there won't be any work done on this, but you've got to play every now and again. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, might also do something on fuel injectors and fuel pressure in the next video as well because I think I've got that sussed. Sounds exciting. You know what would have had a turbo? Go on. A diesel. <laughs>